All right, how about the weather? Uh, How's the weekend? Be, yeah, it should be Tuesday, good. But. Yeah, probably. Oh, it's well, never too early. Tuesday. <laughs> I have computers, man. They tell me things. <laughs> so, no, it should be fine. We'll probably low mid 80s. So okay. it'll be a little sticky. And looky what I just found. Oh, oh no. Boy. No, no. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Oh, Stapleton just throwing monkeys in the wrench. <laughs> no, I'm just oh, kidding. Don't God. worry. This is, I just, I just, just read through the National Hurricane Center. So it's a non tropical little blurb out there in the middle of the Atlantic. They're not even going to start doing actual uh, notifications or even regular notifications until May 15th, but never too early, right? As we're getting later into the spring here. So she gone out of here. We're not worried about it. And here's why. Here's that big front that brought all that severe weather through. So that whatever this tries to do is going to kick it out and move into a lot of dry air behind that gone. But as we say, never too early to think about hurricane season. Okay, let's get you back into spring, shall we? Look at this beautiful weather as we get started right now. We're looking good into downtown. This is our arc generators camera. We've got 63 degrees, so we're running about 10 to almost 15 degrees warmer than we were this time yesterday. The humidity is up to because of a steady south wind that's starting to move in. Temperatures anywhere from mid 50s up towards Livingston. We've got upper 50s where it was in the 40s yesterday in both Liberty out to Winnie 67 down on the island this morning 62 into Pearland much of the metro all sitting between about 60 to 62 63 a little warmer over to Baytown 57 out towards Sugarland so maybe a light jacket this morning you won't need it this afternoon just like yesterday, a little more cloud cover today with that south wind bringing more moisture in from the Gulf. Other than that, we'll look at highs anywhere from around 80 to 82 as we get into the afternoon. Now, the other parts of the story for today, I think that will affect everybody, will be the wind. Wind gusts at 650 this morning are anywhere between about 20 to 25 miles an hour. So hang on to your hats if you're headed out to rodeo today. And then, of course, post tonight should be a great show. We'll see temperatures slowly falling back into the upper 60s. So give yourself some patience, too. I, I know for the journey show Friday and when it got cut short, there was a lot going on. A lot of folks were all trying to get back to the light rail and get out to the Uber lifts uh, very quickly. So high pressure going to continue to slide off to the east. We'll be tracking this next front. This is going to bring a lot of heavy snow across parts of the Midwest and the upper Midwest for us. It won't bring a whole lot of anything. What we'll see today is just all this warm air scooped out ahead of it. So those wind gusts will be anywhere from around 20 to 35 miles an hour, which is why we're under wind advisories through 10 o'clock tonight. And just a slight chance to bring a few morning showers and other than that, cooler, drier air moves in behind it for both Wednesday afternoon and Thursday. Thursday's highs for the first day of spring will be upper 60s to about 70 degrees. It's going to be very, very comfortable today. That wind advisory for the entire area through 10 o'clock tonight, as we'll see south winds anywhere from 20 to 35 miles an hour. And in fact, if we put the computer models on these, notice that they'd start to track anywhere from close to 35 to nearly 40 by about 4 or 5 o'clock this afternoon. And obviously, with the uh, pollen count being high on the oak trees, the cedar trees are starting to pick up, and the elm trees, it's going to be a little rough for allergy sufferers. But we start to see that back off as we get into tomorrow morning. A much better looking afternoon for our Wednesday afternoon. And then look at that. We go from 80 degrees on Wednesday down to 70 for the high on Thursday, Sophia, and speaking of that weekend for the barrio dogs should be a OK. Hey. We'll see temperatures in the middle. This guy rolling his R's. I know. You know what? I got one good shot at it every morning, and that was right. it. But 